Hey, what is up everyone? This is Private Mittens, and I'm here to continue my series of games I'd like to see return. Uh, sorry about the late upload, but PlayStation Network was really playing up last night, and it was just a bitch. But, uh, what do you expect for a shitty service? But anyhow, let us get to the game in questions. That is the Red Faction series, and I hope you guys enjoy it. Let us begin. Red Faction 1 was released in 2001 for the PC and PlayStation 2. This is sitting at a current 88% on Metacritic. Now, Red Faction 1 was a first-person shooter, and its claim to fame was the destructible environments, which were very, very impressive for their time. And it's, quite frankly, a lot of people agree it's the second best in the series. Up next, we have Red Faction 2, released in 2002. So this was released a year after, a bit too early in my opinion. For the PlayStation 2, Nintendo GameCube, PC, and Xbox original, this is sitting at 84% on Metacritic, so as you can see, it has dropped. It's still a good review, but it has dropped. This is exactly the same. It's essentially improved upon what the first did, but not add anything significantly new to stand on its own feet. That's what Faction 2 was, and I believe it's the worst in the series. Yes, even worse than Armageddon, which I'll get to soon. Then we got Red Faction Guerrilla, released in 2009 for the PC, Xbox 360, and PlayStation 3. This is sitting at a current 85%, and this is also my favorite, and a lot of fan favorites in the series. The best way to put Red Faction Guerrilla, if you've watched my top 15 hack, uh, third person shooters, it's in the list, and I really, I talk a lot about it, and it's the one that got me into the series. Uh, Devil got me into the series, so thanks, Devil. <laughs> um, but yeah, great game, best in the series by far. So last we have Red Faction Armageddon, released in 2011 for the PC, Xbox 360, and PlayStation 3. This is sitting at 75% on Metacritic, so it is the lowest out of the four games, but I believe it to be not the worst out of the four. Uh, Red Faction Armageddon, Easily the best story in the series. It went back to what the first two did. Yes, it was third person, not first person like the first two. But it uh, it went into a linear, destructible environment like the first two did, as opposed to Gorilla's open world, destructible environment. Um, but as, as I said, Armageddon, to me, has the best story in the series. And I still think it's better than Red Faction 2. If I was to rate them in order, it'd be Gorilla... Then Red Faction 1, then Armageddon, and then Red Faction 2. But, uh, yeah, let's actually talk about what I would like to see from the series. I'd like to see a reboot. Now, for anyone that hasn't played it, I'm not going to spoil anything. All I'm going to say is they're all set on Mars, and you are a colony that was once, you know, Earth's colony, and you essentially want to, you know, leave the colony. And become your own, you know, planet, essentially. That's all I'm saying in the story. They can do that in the reboot, but I think it just needs to be flushed out more. Because they never really did it that well in the series. I mean, I think Homefront Revolution, yes, a really, really hated game. I recently just finished playing it. And I think it did a pretty good job of what it was trying to do. Yes, it wasn't perfect, but I think it did not otherwise a decent job. I think Red Faction needs to step its game up if it ever gets released again. Make it third person shooting, just like the third and the fourth. Have an open world like Gorilla, but have more, you know, more in the world. Like, not, you know, just a typical Ubisoft world. Make it very unique to its, you know, its setting. That's what I'd like to see. For example, Say Just Cause, you know how Just Cause, it's all about explosions. Let's be honest, that's all it's about. Red Faction Guerrilla could do that if it got away with heaps of buildings in the world. And you can just level them all like you can in Guerrilla. Um, for missions, for the structure anyway, I think they should do more of missions. Because Guerrilla had a lot of missions, some were varied than others, but it did get pretty steel after a while. So I would like to see more mission variants for the new Red Faction if we ever get one. Um, 
the uh, multiplayer. I've not touched about the multiplayer yet. The multiplayer in Red Faction Two was uh, it, well, it was uh, it was unfortunately. If you ask any, look, because this was released on PS2, GameCube, Xbox, and PC, of course, right? Um, I'm not going to go on to PC because this will that would just be a, a really long video, right? Um, best PS2 shooter, everyone agrees, and PlayStation Magazine even said itself, Time Splitters 2, best shooter the PS2 ever got. GameCube even said, Metroid may be the best shooter exclusively, but Time Splitters 2 was the best shooter on the system for multiplayer. Xbox. Yes, Halo 2 and Halo 1 were the best on the system, were definitely respectively. But Time Spitters also came third for that system. Do you see what I'm getting at? Red Faction just wasn't, you know, it just wasn't good. And I think that's where I'm going to talk about Gorilla now. Red Faction Gorilla's multiplayer was actually pretty good. It was really enjoyable. And it's fun. I mean, granted, I don't think you're going to find anyone playing the console versions anymore. PC, I'm not too sure. But Gorilla's multiplayer was actually pretty cool. And that was surprising. Armageddon, I never played the multiplayer. But from what I've heard, Armageddon's multiplayer was just like Red Faction 2's. It was just there, essentially. But if you're going to do a multiplayer, give it, you know, that Gorilla kind of feel to it. Because it was the best. Um... How about, a, uh, how about a map editor where you can just like... Any, uh, here's an example, actually. The best map editor a console has ever got for a shooter was Far Cry 2. Because it... You built the map from the ground up. And... Sorry about that, but anyway. You built the, gra uh, the map from the ground up where essentially you could put trees, scrubs, buildings, anywhere you wanted on the map. It wasn't limited to, say, some generated map editors you get in some games. Now, I would like to see Red Faction do this, where you can actually build a map, and, like, obviously, because of the destructible environments, you just, like, waste to everything. And it would be really, really fun. That, I like, with the map editor, I would actually play a lot on if they, brought, uh, you know, put a new one out. But, uh, yeah, that's really all I can say for Red Faction. I mean, I could obviously say a bit more weapon variants, um, better main character, that kind of thing, but that's just little minor gripes with the series, of course. But uh, there's also a movie of Red Faction, by the way, which is not bad. It's actually worth checking out. But uh, yeah, I mean, that's, that's really it. I mean, I probably... I would probably say they would release Gorilla HD sometime. I, th I could see it coming, especially when they did Saints Row, uh, Get Out of Hell or whatever it's called. But uh, yeah, that's really it, guys. So I hope you enjoyed the video. And once again, I apologize for the lateness of the video. Uh, I am getting ready to do a really big video of this series. And that will be, I, I'm expecting this to be a very long video. So, look forward to that, and yeah, that's going to be interesting. I don't know if it will be the next one, but it will be coming soon. But anyhow, this is Private Mittens. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Take care, guys.